Hello and welcome to Tara Cherie. So we've been talking about essential oils now for a few weeks here. And last week we actually talked about aromatouch therapy, which is a topical form. And now I actually want to switch gears a little bit and talk to you about how essential oils can be used in an aromatic approach. Um, and I, for this reason, I'm going to actually reference the guide. I am not the expert. I'm just referring back, guiding and directing you to the information. Um, all of this can be found because our family is so passionate about essential oils through a book that we purchased that I would love to refer out to you if you'd like to learn more about how essential oils might be applicable to you in your everyday life. You can take a look at this. This is called Modern Essentials. It's the sixth edition. You can purchase it by going to uh, www.aromatools.com. It's A-R-O-M-A tools, T-O-O-L-S, all one word, dot com. And if you go under the books and brochures tab, um, it'll be under the book section, and it's the first one yet, and you can't miss it. It's super reasonable, cheap, especially for all of the information. And um, one thing that I felt passionate that I actually wanted to cover with you was discussing the aromatic way to apply oils. Um, just to explain for those that are like, what's aromatic? Um, it's an actual application that involves inhaling either a fine mist of the oil or a vapor of volatile aromatic components that have evaporated from the oil. Um, inhalation of the oil or the aroma from the oil can be a powerful way to affect memory, hormones, and emotions through the olfactory system. Inhalation of oils can also be a quick and effective way to affect the sinuses, especially if you suffer from sinus problems allergies, this might be something good for you to pay attention to. Um, so it, it does help with the sinuses, the larynx, the bronchial tubes, and the lungs. So if you choose to go using a diffuser, uh, actually the diffuser approach is the way that we most commonly use them in our household. It's probably the easiest and simplest way of putting a fine mist to the whole oil into the air for inhalation and it's to use a nebulizing diffuser. It's a cool air nebulizing diffuser that uses room temperature air to break the oils into a micro fine mist that is then dispersed into the air covering hundreds of square feet in seconds. An ultrasonic nebulizer uses ultrasonic vibrations to convert oil mixed with water into fine water vapor and when diffused in this manner the oils with their oxygenating molecules will then remain suspended for several hours to freshen and improve the quality of the air. The antiviral, antibacterial, and antiseptic properties of the oils will kill bacteria and help to reduce fungus and mold, which will help your sinuses, your bronchial tubes, the whole nine yards. Um, another form way of an aromatic approach would be direct inhalation. Um, the simplest way to inhale the aroma of an essential oil in order to help with mood and emotion is to take one to two drops of oil into your hands, cup your hands over your mouth and nose, and inhale. Um, another method is to take a cloth or tissue, put one to three drops of an essential oil on a paper towel, tissue, cotton ball, handkerchief, towel, or pillowcase. Hold it close to your face and inhale that way. You can also do this in hot water in a cup and inhale that way. Um, you can also, if you believe in vaporizers or humidifiers, put oil in a vaporizer or humidifier. The cool mist uh, types are best since heat reduces some of the benefits. Um, these are commercially available diffusers that utilize ultrasonic vibration to vaporize water into a cool mist. This works well with essential oils since they produce very fine mist. That helps suspend the oil particles into the air for extended periods of time. You can also um, put oil on a cotton ball and attach it to a ceiling fan or air vent. This can also work well in a vehicle since it's so small. Or you can take one or two drops. Um, if you're going to apply it to the skin topically, uh, I would put it in fractionated um, coconut oil first and or an olive oil and or you can use a carrier oil and um, put one to two drops on the wrist or neck once you have uh, diluted it slightly and then go ahead and apply it from there um, or um, you can make your own perfume or cologne by uh, 
dissolving 10 to 15 drops essential oil in 20 drops alcohol, such as vodka or perfumers alcohol, and combine this mixture with one teaspoon distilled water. Apply or mist on wrists or neck. So hopefully that gives you some ideas and tips there. If you would like to connect about anything that we've discussed on this video today, um, then please feel free to visit our blog. You can actually subscribe to it. There's going to be a contact form on the page. Can't miss it. It's on the right-hand side. All you have to do is go to www.tarasherie.org. And you can actually register there, become a subscribing member, and receive all the wonderful content that we're offering free to you of charge. Yes, that's right. It's completely free. Or you can also send me an email at tarasherieconsulting at gmail.com. That's www.tarasherie.com consulting, C-O-N-S-U-L-T-I-N-G at gmail.com. Tara Cherie Consulting at gmail.com. You can reach out to us there. We'll be more than happy to talk with you more about the aromatic approach, how to apply it, answer any questions that you have. Um, if you want to learn more about the Modern Essentials book that we've been discussing for the last few weeks, you can also reach out to me that way. It's the most effective way of communication, Consulting at gmail.com, and I would be more than happy to speak with you. Until next time, have a great rest of your day, and take care. Bye-bye.